Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game called Cave Crawler. Now, you are sending a drone inside of a cave that some people went missing in. What are we going to find once we send that drone in there? I don't know, but this is a scary cave, so if you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go! After acquiring mining rights to the area in 1992, Rockwell Mining Group was alerted by local park and forest services to a missing persons report near the entrance to company property. The following footage showcases the use of the Cave Crawler, a newly patented service survey drone developed by RMG and this is it everybody this is the drone okay let me uh figure out how I'm gonna do this so I use my keyboard for the whole thing no mouse action so find the missing person zero out of one holy crap I really feel like I'm going in depth with the colonoscopy right now but I noticed that there is a whole like audience for spelunking and people going inside of caves. Like I remember I saw a video about somebody who died in Nutty Putty Cave, I think it was in Utah. And I watched it and then I started getting recommended this channel of somebody like that's in caves getting stuck between like the very tight spaces inside of caves. What the hell is that? Can I scan that? It looked like dancing worms. Hold on, that looked like squirmy ass worms. Wait, see? What the heck? Okay, that looked like somebody has some worms. But I think I'm going the right way. I'm so glad that we're sending in a drone. This is actually a smarter thing to do, is to send a drone. And the turning is pretty slow, so it's actually way creepier. I think this is their light. Hold on, yep, they dropped their flashlight. Let me scan that. If it says something other than flashlight, I do not know anything anymore. Handheld light source, low battery charge. Okay, so they dropped their light, and then I guess they started going in the dark. I'm assuming that both of these things go in the same direction. But yeah, I watched that video of this guy who died in Nutty Putty Cave. Rest in peace to that guy, by the way, because that is such a horrible way to go. Let me scan this little hole. Um, yeah, he died by getting stuck, and he couldn't wiggle forward and he couldn't wiggle backward. He was literally stuck in there and they couldn't even get his body out and that shit has given me the chills. But I can't go down the butthole of that. But let me slowly turn. Oh shit, I thought that was a face. Bro, I'm freaking myself out. I thought these little rocks at the top were a face. Cause I remember I watched a movie when I was younger called The Descent. It was about like a group of women that were spelunking too. I think that's what they're called, spelunkers. And um, they started getting killed one by one by some monster thing it looked like a gabagool but yeah this is reminding me of that right now it's reminding me of the descent and i wonder if this is actually a real thing in real life like sending drones into caves instead of people because another thing that i remember is that soccer team it was like a whole team of boys and their coach and then they went inside of a cave because there's like this good luck shrine i believe but it flooded in uh the cave that they went to so they couldn't get out they were just stuck in the dark and I believe they were in there for at least two days, two, three days, maybe even longer. But yeah, just the thought of that, it unlocked a fear that I didn't know I had, which is never getting stuck in a cave. What is that? Is that a person? No, it's a rock or it's a backpack. Isolated hiker's bag, contents unknown. Can I go down there? Can't go down there. Okay. The turning in here is giving me anxiety. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm getting super anxiety just, like, by these slow turns. That is... I think it's a headlamp. Or is that somebody's face? I have no clue. Zero DNA detected? Oh, it's a foot. It's a size 13. Okay. So, this hiker is definitely dead. Unless they just started taking off all their clothes. Do you know that phenomena when people are getting, um, um, hypothermia? They feel the sensation of being hot even though they're literally freezing to death, they feel so hot that they start taking off all their clothes. This could be a thing with people that go inside caves. Maybe they just get so disoriented they start taking their shit off. I have no idea. I'm just pulling random ass info outside of my ass. What is that? Scan that. Object is too far to scan. Oh. Oh shit, is that him? Oh, dude got crushed by some freaking meat cubes or whatever. I didn't even notice that body. You found the missing person. Hooray. 
I mean, that's a sad victory, right? I found the missing person. Woohoo! But they're dead. Oh. After testing the cave crawler for approximately four hours, four hours? God damn. It was able to locate the missing hiker's body in a cave containing a crystalline structure. After further study, RMG discovered the crystals are a highly dense energy source rivaling the output of current day nuclear energy sources. Wow, that got deep. I thought I was just gonna find the missing person, but shit got cave deep. After discovering a new potential fuel source, RMG required deeper exploration to locate additional crystals deposits for further testing. The following footage was collected by the cave crawler 22 hours after a major cave-in trapped RMG mining personnel within the cave. Oh, shoot. Okay, so now there's three bodies. So the company that's trying to get these sources, like these energy sources, they're just losing people. Like they're down bodies. And I'm just trying to, what, document everything? Let me go up here first. Because I think I see the mine cart. Yeah, I do. Okay, so let me scan this. And is that blood or is that the crystalline structure? It better be the structure and not blood because I'm getting out of here. Rockwell excavation container. Is that a missing hiker? I think that dude got crushed by these rocks that are going to make me act up because they look like a BBL bubble. But what is that? What is that? Um, Rockwell mining tool. Hold on. There's like something glowing in the distance. I don't like this. This is a no me gusta. Cavern blocked cause unknown. Oh, shoot. Okay. Let's go down this way. This is the way that I originally wanted to go. For some reason, like, nothing is really happening. We're kind of just, like, discovering things that are already here. But I'm getting really freaked out. And I'm on edge. Like, I'm scared while I'm scanning that something's just going to run up on me. And tell me that my breath stinks or some shit. Rockwell mining tool. Okay. What is that? What the heck? Oh. Oh, it's a freaking pickaxe. Okay, it looked like a slug went across the screen or something. Did anybody see that? Fuck. Rockwell excavation container. This cave crawler is pretty smart. It's on 2023 AI levels. And AI is getting crazy right now. Rockwell ultra safe protective headgear. How safe? <laughs> it don't seem like it's ultra safe. Wait, let me zoom in on that. Hold on. How do I zoom? Give me one second. How do I? Okay, let me scan that. That's definitely blood. And I think that's a miner's head. It has to be. You found a body. Yay. Like I told I think I just unfound the body. Or maybe I found a body, but I also found a monster. Hold on. Zoom out. I don't like this. It doesn't make me feel better just because we're a drone. It actually creeps me out. Like, I don't know why. I guess it's all about perspective. Like, I know we're not a person, but the fact that we're still the thing discovering, like, these monsters and these people in the caves, it still makes me feel, like, a sense of uneasiness. I don't feel safe at all. It's weird. Does anybody feel that way, too? And I really feel like a slug is going around. But it's just the shadows. It's, like, really well done. It's freaking me the fuck out. And there's like all this red nut dust. I don't know. It makes me want to cough. <laughs> oh, what the heck? How did that happen? Um. Holy shit. Okay. Let's go this way. Yeah, this seems like a place to go. Oh shit, another. Oh fuck. Okay. Let's scan that. I'm so sorry about this, buddy. How did it even die? Does anybody know? Like, I mean, obviously, we all don't know, but, like, how did this person die? Oh, shit. Somebody's gonna be behind me. Oh. Okay. So we found two out of three bodies. The last one has got to be in here. It already smells like a dead body. Oh, shit. Never mind. Okay. That looked like a clogged toilet. Let's go down this way. Maybe there's a body here. Oh, I see it. Shit. How did they die like that, though? Wait, does that rock have a mining hat on? I found another body. <gasps> what is this? Harvesting. After searching for two hours, the cave crawler was only able to locate the bodies of three of the miners still intact. 
alongside personal equipment of the remaining 12. Upon further examination, the recovered bodies provided important medical data on the crystalline structures. Beginning as small spores, once contact has been made with a form of biological material, the crystals will begin to grow by converting the biological matter into energy. After implantation, small crystalline formations appearing within 24 hours, with crystals reaching full maturation after 48 hours. Okay, growing up. Beginning at 0800 hours, seismic detectors registered a slow buildup in vibrations deep within the RMG pit. After two localized seismic events, contact was lost with the feeding team at 0900 hours. The cave crawler was deployed to locate the missing team members. Okay, so that's my cue, everybody. So let's find the missing team. Five whole people. Holy crap. If there's a biohazard sign right over there, I don't care how much you're paying me. I'm doing a 180 right out of there. Like, I'm shaking my ass right out this cave. Legally mandated biohazard warning. Of course it's legally mandated. Because if they don't tell you, I'm suing that ass. Because people in America love to sue, right? What is this? Is this water? Whoa! Unknown liquid. Unknown silhouette just walked up on me. Like shit was sweet. Hold on. Um, let me zoom in. I think I found another team member. Yep. Okay. What the heck was that? A mistake was made. What happened? Wait, what kind of mistake? Hold on. We're not here making mistakes. I'm gonna go down this way first, and then I'll loop back around and then do a 180. But I have no idea what the hell was coming after me. Was that like the ghost of one of the team members, or... Is that somebody that doesn't want me to be in the cave? Like, I need an explanation. This game does a good job explaining what these crystalline structures are. Might as well tell me what's coming after you, boy. Okay, that didn't scare me. That didn't do shit. Okay, I said a mistake was made. We are about to figure out what the mistake is. This is a different type of horror game, everybody. I'm not used to playing stuff like this. Oh, shit. Okay, everybody, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna figure this out. I'm nervous. See, the one thing about going this direction is that I'm scared that I had to go over there on the other side and try to find the other missing team members and this is where I have to go last. But I think this is how realistic being in caves are, right? There is no map. Unless there's people that have been here before you. But since we're kind of just going in blind, there is no right or wrong direction. We just pick a way and then we have to live with it. God damn, what the heck? Uh... Let me just keep going this way. Oh, shoot. Actually, I don't know. I'm gonna go this way, everybody. Let me scan this. Let me see what's the big deal with this thing that just dropped down on me. Because, I don't know, it's gotta mean something, right? Agitated crystalline object. Agitated? What, this bitch has feelings? What's down here? Oh, that is so freaking creepy. Like, being inside of a cave and then seeing how big this darkness is? Oh my god. <laughs> that is actually so freaking scary. I don't like that. Oh, there's a body! What is that? What the fuck? Oh, that is so creepy. It's like the person got fused with the wall. Right? No, that's a person! Oh, I did find a missing team member. That is freaking scary! Okay, let me zoom out. Yikes. Oh. What the fuck? Oh, it's another person. Okay, I was scanning that liquid, but I didn't even notice the other person there. So who was that person that was walking out like shit was sweet? That actually makes it creepier now. Like, if we get no explanation of that, I need an investigation. Like, a thorough examination. Like, glove on, and I, I just need full inspection ASAP. Because this is not adding up. Like, this is calculus level math problems that aren't adding up. Wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Zoom. Too far? Your mom's too far? Hold on. Uh, can we scan it? Yes! Okay, so there's another person that doesn't look fully intact. Looks like it's just a torso. Found a crystal, but I also found another person. So let me zoom out. Okay, two more people, everybody. Two more people. I'm pretty sure we're gonna see that silhouette again. Which way did I go last time? I think I went... <gasps> oh crap, that's freaking...
freaky as hell. I don't like that. I do not like that. I'm just gonna scan. And I'm gonna mind my own business. I have no idea what this alien structure is. There are no bodies left, only the crystals. Where's the person? Please don't be behind me. to places I've never been before. Because I don't remember this. I don't remember this. What is that? Bro, what is following me right now? Hold on. Let me scan these and just hope I don't die. I need to find two more missing people of the team and I can go home. I can go back to my wife and kids. Like, you know damn well the person operating this drone has like three kids and a wife named Brenda and he's gonna go home, eat a TV dinner, watch Wheel of Fortune. And call it a day because he has to do this all over again. There's no more bodies? Oh, wait. I did find a body. <laughs> it's right here. What's up, my dude? Okay. So one more. One more. Have to find the missing team. And then that thing comes up with a gun and he's like, you're the missing link. You're the last team member. That would be a crazy twist. That would be a titty twister. Like somebody would be pulling my pepperoni nipples if that was the twist. But let's just keep going down where we came from, I think. This has got to be it, right? Yes. Okay. And then, can I scan that blood pool or whatever that is? No. Okay, okay, okay. Damn. This is nuts. Do you all think that... <gasps> what the fuck? Why did I notice that? Oh. I was gonna say, do you think that there are undiscovered species inside of caves? And I'm not talking about, like, random bacterias that you have to see under a microscope. I'm talking about, like, fully formed, freaking big-ass balls. Oh, right here? Yeah! I found the last homie! Yes, I can go home! I'm gonna live! Oh, shit. Federal law provides severe civil and criminal penalties for the unauthorized reproduction, distribution, or exhibition of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs. The following footage is for internal use only. Unauthorized use may result in major fines and or a penalty of up to 65 years in prison. You all hear that? 65 years in prison. We're going to be like old and gray and... Nasty. The following footage was collected from Rockwell Mining Group after the results of agents redacted and redacted investigation into the origin of the earthquake. RMG was immediately subpoenaed for further documentation regarding records of the mining sites. Upon review, the following footage is believed to be what caused the disaster. What happened? Like the whole thing caved in? It looks like a small town and then like the whole rock got split in half. So this is my objective. 4649E44205. I sound like I'm throwing up mathematical gang signs. So let's just keep going in here. And our camera is kind of dirty. Wish we would have wiped it with some Clorox wipes before we went down here. But hey, it is what it is. Let me just keep scanning these things because this is my job as the drone operator. What is this? Um, can I, uh, oh, okay. I thought we had to do something here. Because there's way too much action going on to not be scanning right now. Unknown organic mass detected. Oh, shoot. Okay, so this thing really is living and breathing. So I kind of answered my own question. Like I said, do you believe that there's unknown species inside of caves that we haven't been in? Because there's definitely unknown species in the depths of the ocean that we haven't touched yet. Probably because like the pressure is too great and our heads would explode if we went in that deep of water. But let me scan this too. And I don't know why this game is making me open my brain up to like all these questions I have. Car Carlos? Who the fuck is Carlos? Wait, we got crystalline things called Carlos now? Oh, goodness. Okay, wait. I think we're going by first names. Hold on. Yo, Carlos. Yeah, that's Carlos. All right, let me meet the other people. Because uh, Carlos seems like they're doing their thing. So I'm just going to keep doing mine, all right? 
Oh fuck. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. We're good. Let's scan this. Let's see who this is. I'm going to assume Georgia. Mario. What about you? A Luigi? Or maybe you're a Bowser. William! So are the people turning into these things? After the cave consumes them? Gabriel. Any more? I want to meet everybody. I want to meet the whole crew. Okay. Um. Oh, wait! <laughs> oh, shoot. This game is very interesting. I am not gonna lie. It took a crazy turn. I didn't expect this to happen, but here we are. What is this? It's like we're in the heart of the cave. Maybe literally. Oh! Error. I can't move. Internal report conclusion upon further investigation of the provided materials and under the order of the current director of Homeland Security RMG has been contracted to continue study of the caves under the direct supervision of Dr. Redacted and this is it Mario Lostra. Okay, so the programmer of this was one of the the rocks Gabriel Mario. Oh, they're all part of it. All right, cool. Thanks to all the fans for over 1 million views on TikTok and their supports. This was a cool game. I enjoyed this a lot. All right, everybody, but that is going to do it for Cave Crawler. Let me know what you thought about this game in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed me playing it, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cove Scouts is that dude.